In the last lesson, we have seen how a supplier could submit an invoice after matching to a PO. Now what we'll see is how the account payables department in buying organization can pay for that invoices matched to the PO and how the status gets changed after this invoice is paid in iSupplier portal. So I will quickly pay for that invoice. So to do that, go to Oracle Applications and log in as the super user. This super user is not just for purchasing, it's got responsibilities for payables as well. All right. But in real life scenario, you will have separate users for purchasing buyer, receiving clerk and account payables clerk. Okay. So having said that, you scroll down to a responsibility called as payables vision operations USA. Okay, that responsibility is the one through which you can see the invoices submitted by the suppliers. So, payables, yeah, that's the one, payables vision operations USA. And here you go to invoices, entry, and then invoices again. Okay. So, now Oracle will launch the forms now once you reach this form this is an empty form but you need to query the invoice which is submitted by the supplier is it not in order to do the, that go on to the top there is a torch button out there for find okay did you see that the second icon okay now here this find screen will come that's where you enter your purchase order number which is 6050 hit the find button and it will retrieve the invoice which is just submitted by the supplier as you could see all the details are there which is what submitted by the supplier now what you may want to do here is you need to validate that invoice because the status is never validated you need to validate it first so validate the invoice <coughs> say okay after it's validated the invoice can be paid in full so now there are no issues invoice is validated now I'm going to pay that in full so pay in full say ok and now you need to enter a couple of details out here in relation to the bank account so payment process profile Okay, let's say standard check format all right so I will go to now actions in the bottom there's a button actions and then by this time it will get paid after this submission okay so actions and now here you can print a remittance advice I create an accounting optionally choose a program separate remittance advice these are all optional things okay but anyway click on ok so it will create an accounting and the remittance advice now once you're done with this it makes the payment unless there are any errors out here so let's wait for a moment to complete this payment part and then we can go and check whether this invoice has been paid in full or not okay never mind it's just that it's not creating an online accounting perhaps the payable period may be closed uh, you, you might have to open the payable period to, to online accounting but it shouldn't matter as far as payment is concerned okay so by this time what we need to do it is we need to go back to the invoice and check whether it's been paid or not so since we have made the payment now let's go back and query the invoice to see whether the payment has been made so go to invoice entry invoices 
and now again do the same thing click on the torch button on the top and hit the PO number here enter that PO number and then hit the find button now and that will retrieve the invoice and here you go to view payments that's where you will see the payment so look the payment has been made now the next step that you may want to do it is close this and then log in as a supplier and see whether the payment has been made or not okay so I log out now I log in as the supplier <coughs> and here now you directly go to the finance tab and that's where you enter the PO number to query it okay so you can query existing invoices here so 6050 you remember we had the invoice with status not paid now hit the go button and here you will see the status as paid I'm not very sure okay let's do this so I think uh, let's do one thing instead of looking in this form let's look at the other form and here let's query it again hit the go button hopefully yeah look the payment status is paid okay and here is the invoice number that was entered okay and here is the payment you can in fact look at the payment from here look that is the payment which is paid and that's the purchase order number and if you go to the PO it shows the link for all you know the PO receipt invoices and payment at one place so if you go here click on this and look at this this is the received um, received uh, amount this invoice amount and this the total total amount okay and you can actually drill down from here actions and then go to view invoices hit the go button that's where you know shows you the invoice details the payment and PO or one by one you can see all that right here view receipts or say view payments and that's the payment which has just been made so basically that completes the process in terms of uh, um, in terms of i supplier portal for for payment of the invoices